Welcome to this edition of Pre-Internet Plane Spotting, brought to you by Jetflix. Hi there, my name is Henry Tenby, and welcome to this edition of Pre-Internet Plane Spotting. Uh, back in the late 1950s, the major Stratacruiser operators in the United States uh, were Northwest Airlines, Pan Am, and Transocean airlines based in San Francisco. Now, when these airlines retired their Strata cruisers, or in the case of Transocean, they went bankrupt, uh, sometimes the Strata cruisers were traded into the manufacturers, Boeing, Douglas, etc., uh, for trade-in on new jets. A lot of these Strata cruisers ended up in storage facilities in the Mojave Desert. And I'm going to share with you some interesting pictures, some color Kodachrome slides that were taken uh, in the early 1970s by German photographer Gert Killian of these incredible strato cruiser hulks that were in the Mojave Desert rotting away. So these strato cruisers were retired uh, in the late late 1950s, early 1960s, and they sat rotting away uh, in the Mojave Desert, just north of Los Angeles to, well, at least 1973, 1974. They were, I believe they didn't remain much longer than that, and they were reduced to scrap. So there were two airports uh, north of Los Angeles that were actively involved in the storage of airliners in the early 1960s. And of course, there's the Mojave Airport, which many of us have been to, and there's also Lancaster Airport, Foxfield, which is just maybe uh, 10 or 15 minutes uh, south uh, on the on the main freeway, uh, you know, heading from Mojave back to Los Angeles, so they're quite close to each other. And I'm not sure if these images were taken in Mojave or Lancaster. My gut feel is they were actually taken at the Mojave Airport. But anyhow, sit back, relax, and enjoy these very interesting shots. I don't believe any such images have ever appeared on the internet before, so they're kind of neat. I hope you find them as interesting as I do. Welcome to the Boeing Stratocruiser fleet storage video. My name is Henry Tenby. We're looking at a Northwest Airlines Boeing Stratocruiser resting on its belly on September the 20th, 1973. I believe this is the Mojave Airport storage facility. There was also aircraft storage facilities uh, just down the road at Lancaster Fox Field, and there were airliners in storage there in the 60s and early 70s, but it's my gut feel this is in fact taken at Mojave Airport. There were a number of Northwest and Transocean Airways strata cruisers in storage at this airport, and they were photographed on Kodachrome slide film by Gert Killian on the 20th of September, 1973. I find it just remarkable that for whatever reason, when these strata cruisers were placed into service, uh, most likely in the early 1960s, whoever was in charge of them did not paint the names of the aircraft operators off the aircraft. So they do carry Northwest titles and, and Transocean Airways titles, which I find just amazing. It, in later years, it became standard operating procedure to paint the names out, to remove the names of the prior operators of aircraft. But in this case, they did not do that for, I guess it was too costly and too labor intensive. They just flew the airplanes here and parked them expecting that nobody would see them, but they didn't realize there were aircraft slide photographers out there clamoring to get shots of these amazing aircraft. Anyhow, this aircraft has its engines resting on the ground. It appears to have the engines on both sides of the aircraft sitting on the, on the desert ground surface. It's missing its rudder, and it's whatever reason the main gear have given way and it's squatted down on its main legs, but otherwise it's pretty intact and it looks it looks to be in pretty good condition. It would be sure interesting to go on board and have a look. So let's move on to our next image. This is a very interesting aircraft. What we can see is that for whatever reason, they've cut a cargo door in the forward section of the aircraft and they've put an XKC-97 cargo door uh, in the installed slot. Now, of course, I don't think this aircraft ever flew in this manner. I think it was probably an engineering exercise, possibly by the people that built the guppies, uh, just to see if they could do it. And uh, here we have the results. The aircraft, of course, is an ex-Northwest Airlines Stratocruiser. The tail's been completely removed. The engines are on the aircraft. 
and the main gear have, have collapsed under the ravages of time, and we can faintly see the Northwest Airlines titles in the cheat line. Uh, this aircraft, of course, was reduced to non-airworthy status uh, when photographed on, the, on September 20th, 1973. Uh, it's missing a number of engine panels. Uh, we can see that the aircraft is in otherwise not bad condition, but it's definitely a scrapping candidate. Here we have Northwest Airlines Stratacruiser N74604. Uh, this particular aircraft, if you can believe it, was delivered from Boeing to Northwest Airlines in August of 1949. And here we have it on September the 20th, 1973. So how many years is that? Uh, that's about 24, 25 years. Today, 25-year-old aircraft are, in some cases, still in beautiful condition but that was not to be for this particular Stratacruiser. It's in better condition than some of the others that were at the airfield at this time, it's, although it's still sitting on its forward nose gear, which is an accomplishment. Uh, the engines are in place, so I guess the weight and balance uh, didn't take the tail backwards into the ground. It's missing its rudder. Uh, so otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Certainly a lot better condition than the Transocean Airways strata cruiser hulk that we can see lumbering away on its belly sans tail and bashed in nose section in the background so these aircraft were certainly kept in not the best of condition for for the years they sat there it's my understanding that these aircraft uh, were sitting in mojave from around 1960 until perhaps 1974 or 1975 by the late 70s, they were definitely not there. So if you wanted to see them like this, you would have had to have photographed at the airport probably in, you know, by the late 1960s, because here in 1973, they were already starting to look a bit ratty. But again, we can see the Northwest Airlines titles uh, visible in the cheat line. The, the cockpit windows are intact. The emergency exits have been removed. And of course, the props are long gone but as i say the engines and the weight of the engines are there and that's what's keeping the aircraft uh, sitting upright and looking respectfully handsome in this image it's my understanding that northwest airlines had nine strata cruisers ordered and delivered from boeing n74601 through n74609 and this particular one is N74609 that we're looking at right now, which would make it the youngest of the Northwest Strata Cruisers. I believe they were all delivered in the time frame between 1949 and 1950, and they all served with Northwest Airlines, except for those, uh, I believe one or two were written off in accidents, but they all they served until the airline replaced them with uh, Boeing 707 and DC-8 jets in 1959 and 1960. Uh, this aircraft's looking pretty good. Uh, the registration is fully visible on the tail. Uh, the aircraft's engines are in place, so therefore it doesn't have a, a CFG issue and it's not sitting on its back end. So it looks good sitting on its nose. We've got the Northwest Airlines titles intact. And in the background, if you look carefully, you can see uh, a portion of a fuselage section of a Transocean Airways Strata Cruiser. So uh, the photographers, when they visited Mojave uh, back in 1973, had fair open reign to photograph these aircraft uh, to their heart's content. And of course, weather and sun wasn't an issue. Uh, you, you just got beautiful shots like what we're looking at here. Uh, engines are all in place. Uh, props are long gone. Uh, looks like the doors are open on the starboard side, but probably not the safest thing to go climbing aboard and, you know, have a look. Although I would certainly be intrigued to do so. It would be amazing to see what the inside of these fuselages looked like. Uh, were the seats all there? Uh, were there old safety cards scattered about and postcards floating around and old menus and other bits and, you know, pieces of paraphernalia waiting to be collected? Probably, but... Of course, we'll never know. Well, this old girl's looking a bit worse for wear. The tail is gone, so we're unable to ascertain the ident 
of this particular aircraft, it seems that they painted out the names and fleet numbers and identifying marks from the fuselages of all of these Stratocruisers. So unless the tails were still attached, we really have no way of knowing uh, which particular aircraft uh, anyone would be without their tails. So that's the case here. Uh, if somebody knows which one this particular aircraft is, of course, please leave a comment. This aircraft uh, missing its tail, but engines are still on, on wing. Uh, it's looking really pretty sad in my opinion. I don't know why, but they, all of the emergency exit doors have been removed. I'm guessing perhaps that whoever was involved in storing these aircraft knew that perhaps those were usable parts and uh, they would become timexed on operational aircraft or on other KC-97s or on you know, guppies and whatnot. So maybe those were interchangeable on, on guppy aircraft. So they, they removed them from these aircraft for use on guppies. That's just my educated guess as to why the emergency exits are all removed. But if you have any ideas as to why the emergency exits are all missing, same with the tails, you know, please do leave a comment in the comment section. I'm guessing the tails were also usable as, as very, as very uh, useful spare parts for guppies and other uh, commercial uses of these aircraft that were still flying at the time, uh, such as water bombers and, and cargo aircraft used by you know the Israeli Air Force and and other one-off operators. So there you have it. This this is um, looking pretty sad, but at least it was captured on slide film for us. Well, it's time to get the handkerchiefs out because this is a very sad picture. It's the uh, the brutal remains of a uh, destruction of biblical proportions. This aircraft's been reduced to a very sad state. It's just a bashed in nose uh, with major sections uh, cut out of the fuselage. I guess, again, for spare parts use, uh, they just came in with metal cutters and completely removed emergency exit sections, including the structure around those uh, emergency exit doors. And that would have been for a reinstallation on other aircraft or engineering of of modifications on other aircraft that were still active. Why this airplane has a bashed in nose, I do not know. Could it have been a landing incident? I doubt it. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe there was a windstorm and the aircraft weather vaned into another parked airplane and completely munched its nose. Uh, I guess a scrapping of some of some order was ta was taken place uh, on this aircraft because the whole rear section is missing, engines are gone, uh, the wing is ravaged, the trailing section of the wing is 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 munched, and we don't know if the starboard wing is actually there. It looks like it may not be there, but what a sad sight! I mean, engines off. Still, of course, it has the Transocean name on it. But wow, it's just so sad to see this. And uh, again, at least we have a photographic record um, that this actually existed. But Transocean Airways was a great airline. Uh, their history is well covered on the internet. Uh, but they were basically too big for their own, their own um, causes and they, they, they failed. The company went bankrupt around 1960 or 61 and all their assets were distributed uh, to various boneyards and the United States Southwest. So there you have it. Here we have Transocean Airways Boeing Strata Cruiser N403Q. Registration still visible on the aircraft. Uh, on the internet, it, in, it indicates this aircraft was scrapped in 1963. We know the, the airline went bust a few years before that. So, Presumably the aircraft was flown to Mojave and reduced to the state that we see it in here in 1973. Uh, so it, had, it probably looked like this between 1963 and 1973. So cargo doors were, or very, I should say emergency escape doors were machined out of the fuselage, en engines were removed, gear was removed, and of course it just went back onto its rear section uh, because of the, the, the weight 
weight and balance, the C of G shifted backwards and the aircraft just rests like that, you know, like a guppy out of water, kind of, a whale out of water. And the tail was also removed from the aircraft. But yet again, the Transocean Airways titles remained. And what a sight this would have been. I know if I would have been to this airport and, and been able to see this with my own eyes, I would have been in awe. I mean, look at this. We have a Transocean Stratocruiser and we've got a nose of a Northwest Orient Stratocruiser in the same shot. It's just so unique, such an unusual thing to see. And uh, as I said earlier, by the late 1970s, these aircraft were, were gone. Uh, there might have been one aircraft or, or bits and pieces remaining, you know, up to the late 70s. But this collection of strata cruisers that we have here uh, at the Mojave Desert was something unique to behold uh, if you're a slide photographer in the 1960s. But by September 20th, 1973, this is what it looked like. And uh, the, again, I have not seen any pictures like this on the internet before. So this is unique content. And I hope you appreciate us bringing this to you uh, for your viewing enjoyment. Please take a moment and click and subscribe to our channel. And here we have the sole former Pan American Airways Boeing Strata Cruiser in 1042 Victor. This aircraft, unique in that they did remove the Pan Am titles. So we can see that, you know, with the silver fuselage and white top, it was previously in Pan Am colors. It wasn't a Northwest machine. It was not a Transocean machine. I'm guessing this aircraft was acquired for spares uh, by Transocean. And then when they folded, uh, the aircraft simply ended up here in Mojave along with all the other strata cruisers. I think most of these strata cruisers were, were in fact owned by uh, the Transocean uh, owner uh, while, you know, while the airline was operational as a spare parts source. And then when Transocean folded these aircraft, I believe they were sitting at Oakland Airport, you know, in the San Francisco area. And then they were, they were probably ferried from Oakland. They were flown from Oakland Airport to Mojave for storage, probably in about 1962 or 1963. So by the time these pictures were taken, or these Kodachrome slides were taken on September the 20th, 1973, they had, these aircraft had been sitting for about 10 years. So this aircraft in a okay state, I guess. I mean, it's missing one engine and, you know, the cowlings on another engine are complete, completely stripped down. Uh, the emergency doors are removed. Uh, the, the rudder is removed. So the, the easy spare parts have been taken off the aircraft. Sitting on its main gear, so it's not looking as sad as some of the others, and it hadn't suffered any structural destruction you know, to its nose. So there you have it. I hope you've really enjoyed this show and please don't hesitate to leave comments. Click the like and the thumbs up button and we'll see you at the next show. I'm also a collector of 35 millimeter color slides of aircraft. If you have an aircraft slide collection that you'd like to dispose of or sell or get rid of, I'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to contact me at my email address which is shown on the screen. That's henrytenby at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you about your slide collection.